And here, here's the deal. In every relational circle, you've got friends. Like, let's just say you're kind of here in the middle. You've got people that are friends. You've got people that, that you could define and say, yeah, these are people that are in my relational circle. You do have people that are outside of that circle that, that hate you. And that may always hate you. And that no matter how much you pitch through the, the apology for the things that you've done in the past and the hurts that you've caused, they, they will never like you. And it's, and it's okay. Scripture says, live at peace with all people as much as it's possible in you. That means you extend forgiveness and grace and repentance. You offer the bridge, knowing that they may not walk across that bridge. Okay? There's a guy, man, I had a work relationship a long time ago. It didn't go well at all. And I remember like eight months later, after, after that kind of parted, I um, really felt like I was supposed to write first this guy that I was working with that real long, um, and just apologized for a bunch of stuff. And I, I don't mind sharing with you what it is, but just you know, right now it's not time. And I talked through it and, you know, some of the things I'd done, some of the kind of just how I carried myself. And uh, I wasn't looking for an apology back. I wasn't really expecting anything back. I just knew, like, I need to throw that bridge out there and just say, hey, I'm sorry. That's it. Two weeks later, I got back a letter from him that said, yeah, everything that you said was right, plus this, this, this. And then he gave me a list, and he gave me a list of action steps that he thought I needed to take to be back in his good graces. <laughs> you, you might get that. And if you do, it's okay that not everybody's in any of these circles. You have people that are in your friend circle. You have people that are in your family circle. Sometimes your family people aren't your friends. Sometimes they are, and these circles overlap, right? How many of you have family members, and you're not really friends with them, and you don't understand why? It's just, see, it's common to everybody. You're just raising the hand so you can see, like, hey, this, this, this happens. You also have people, particularly more and more as you grow an organization, or you grow a business, or you reach some dreams, or you get a stage, you get a platform, people that are going to be your fans, and they're going to look to you and they're going to think that they know you because they know deep parts of your stories that you've revealed online. But at the core, like they're, they're fans. They're not friends. They're not family. 